a Tesla reports earnings after the bell tomorrow. And the chart master says the electric automaker is sitting on a knife's edge heading into the report. So let's bring in Carter Worth of Worth Charting with the technical tail. Carter, take it away. Well, that's right. I mean, you can feel the tension. It's it's uh, the definition is a nice edge. It's sitting finely balanced between success and failure. We have this tight, tight range. You see it annotated there on the screen. Every chart we're going to look at is the same chart over different time frames. So basically, if you take it back a little further, we've been I would call this um, high uh, volatility, low variance. We're not moving anywhere, but we're stuck with these wild gyrations of 20 percent between essentially 600 and 800. If you pull it back even further, you'll see basically where this debate or standoff is occurring. It's occurring under the trend line, having broken trends. So again, it's near perfect equilibrium, bears and bulls balanced evenly. And of course, we know exactly what's going to resolve it, as is so often the case. The funny methods, they're going to say something in their earnings that people generally hate or like enough to move it substantially higher or lower. Highly unlikely that it stays range bound like this. Now it's now, is it a coin toss? It's as close to that as you're going to get. We've put out reports saying that we think it's going to break the downside, but I'll just tell you this, of some 2,000 respondents, both at the institutional level, the individual level, and on Twitter, it's running 60-40 uh, that it will go down. 40% are saying no, it's going to get resolved up. Hmm. Really interesting stuff there. That is quite a tight range looking at those different uh, time periods. Thanks, Carter. Guy, where do you stand on where Tesla's going to go from here? Are you in the 60 camp, the 40 camp? Well before I say that, I'm sure Karen will get a kick out of this. Clearly, Carter um, coming to us from the Guggenheim at the Kandinsky <laughs> exhibition. <laughs> Wonderful job by Carter, number one. Number two, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm with Carter on this. Listen, last quarter, that April quarter was astonishing, and the stock traded up to, I think, 1100 obviously only to sell off to low 600s, and here we are now. I think you're going to see a similar move. I think the stock probably bounces post-earnings, but you sell it again. And I don't think... Um, I don't think we've heard the last of former President Trump's rants about Elon Musk. And I think they're going to get more uh, directed and may come more at him in terms of Tesla, the stock. So I think there are a lot of chapters left in this Tesla story. And I'm going to be having my popcorn on the sideline. But I think <laughs> higher post earnings, lower after, just like last quarter.